Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another week of what's for dinner. If you're new here, hello and welcome. I am Taylor. I share these what's for dinner videos every Sunday to hopefully give you guys some meal ideas and some motivation to cook more for your family. If you enjoy those type of videos, I hope that you will subscribe down below so you can come back and see my future videos. Make sure you leave a comment down below letting me know that you are new. Any recipes that I mention will always be linked in the description box down below. Now let's go ahead and get into this week's what's for dinner. It is Friday and tonight for dinner I made some burgers in my cast iron pan. So we are just having that with some fries. I've got these Kaiser buns from Aldi and ketchup and mayonnaise and mustard, cheddar cheese, a lettuce and tomato, and then I have a pickle. Lily's got some cucumbers and tomatoes. They are splitting a burger, but if they want more, I will give them more because there's plenty of burgers. And then Elijah has a pickle and some cucumbers and fries. But that is our easy dinner for Friday. It is Saturday and we are doing something pretty easy again tonight. So I've got some salmon. This is from Aldi and I've just got two pieces out because I'm just gonna cook some for me and the kids tonight or right now and then when Andy gets home later tonight I will cook the other two pieces and that'll be for his dinner tonight and his lunch tomorrow. But I'm cooking it in the air fryer so I don't have to use the oven and heat up the whole house. I don't remember if I've ever made it in the air fryer before. I'm going to do it on 400 degrees and check it around like 8 minutes and it might take like 12 minutes is what I looked up online. So I've got these and I've got some oil. I'm going to brush some olive oil on them and season it with a little bit of lemon pepper and a little bit of badia. And then to go with it, I made some of this couscous from Aldi. Super easy. So that's in there resting. And then we're going to have some zucchini. I'm going to cook it in my cast iron, which is heating up. Cook it in some olive oil and butter. And do you know what seasonings I'm going to use? If you know. Before I say it, comment down below because you've been here and you, you just know me. So we're going to use Badia and we're going to use some Slap Your Mama. It's always going to be Slap Your Mama or Tony's and then Badia for zucchini for us because it's just what we love. So olive oil, butter, and then the zucchini and the seasonings. And yeah, it'll be really quick and easy to put together and a delicious dinner. So I'm going to get that started. I put this on foil. So it'd be easier to like lift it out of the air fryer and I like press the foil down into the air fryer so I could kind of get the shape so that I knew where to place it. So I'm going to season it on here and then just lift it into there and then it'll be easy to lift out once it is done. Okay, here is dinner. The salmon I cooked for 13 minutes total. We've got our zucchini and our couscous. And honestly, don't buy the plain. It's, I even put salt and pepper and a little bit of olive oil in it and it's just um, not great. Add some cheese or something, like maybe some Parmesan cheese or some butter to it. 
um, but it's just not great by itself. The other flavors, the garlic and the Parmesan ones, those are really good as is, but the, the plain was all they had, so that is what I bought. But um, the bonus to cooking the salmon on the foil in the air fryer is this is this is what I had to clean up. The air fryer is completely clean, so no mess to clean, and that is awesome. So that is going to be our dinner for Saturday. It is Sunday, and tonight for dinner we are having spaghetti. So I'm making a big pot of red sauce. I've been having that simmer for the past like two hours. And then I'm gonna make some regular spaghetti noodles and some meat to go with the sauce. But I'm also gonna make some spaghetti squash because I just was really wanting spaghetti squash. Haven't had it in a while. And I'm going to do it in my Instant Pot. I did that once and it didn't turn out quite as tender as I wanted it to be. I looked at some other recipes and it says if you want it to be really tender, to do eight minutes. So we are gonna try eight minutes. I'm gonna cut this in half, scoop up my seeds, place it in my Instant Pot. I've got a cup and a half of water in there underneath the trivet. Then we're just gonna put the lid on and cook it on manual for eight minutes. Okay, I just did a quick release. Now let's see what this looks like. Okay, yes, this is much better than last time. It's pulling away easily. So I'm just gonna let this sit until our other stuff is ready. Okay, here is dinner. I am just having my spaghetti sauce on top of the spaghetti noodles. And the kids and Andy will just have regular noodles mixed with the spaghetti squash. Elijah just tried a bite and said he liked it. I don't think any of them, I know Andy has eaten just spaghetti squash before, but I don't think I could get that one past the kids. So they have regular spaghetti noodles, some um, zucchini noodles, no, spaghetti squash mixed in sauce. And then this is that garlic bread I made the other week and I just popped it out of the freezer. No more Chef Chamois, I gotta go to Sam's Club to get more of that. So it just has butter and garlic powder on it. But that is going to be our dinner for Sunday. It is Monday and tonight for dinner I made pizza. If you've been here a while, you know I always make my own dough. And this is that fail-proof pizza dough recipe. I will have it linked down below. We love this dough. Um, I did accidentally roll it out a little too thin tonight. Um, I think that's because I actually made stuffed crust pizza, so there's like string cheese in here. So this is a little thin, so it's a little bit floppy. Probably could have cooked it a little bit longer, but it's okay. It'll still taste good. And then we've got some salad with it, just romaine lettuce, some mini cucumbers, tomatoes, and Olive Garden, or the Aldi brand restaurant-style Italian dressing. And so here are the kids' sweets, this one's Lily's, obviously no salad, just tomatoes and cucumbers, and Elijah's. And yeah, that is going to be dinner for Monday. On Tuesday, I made beef and broccoli ramen again. Elijah actually requested that I make it again this week. And instead of using ground beef this time, I used some stir fry steak. I started off by mixing the ingredients for my sauce. For that, I used one and a half cups of beef broth, half a teaspoon of ground ginger, two teaspoons of sesame oil, two tablespoons of cornstarch, six tablespoons of oyster sauce, six tablespoons of soy sauce, half a teaspoon of sriracha, one tablespoon of hoisin sauce. I'd recommend using a low sodium soy sauce and maybe even low sodium broth too, just if you don't want it too salty.
Next, I got my broccoli started. I prefer to cook mine in the air fryer just because I like the texture better. And I like to cook it with a little oil and salt and pepper. But you could skip this step and just toss it into the pot later and let it cook with the sauce. I cook my broccoli on 375 for about 12 minutes. To cook my steak, I started off by heating some olive oil and some sesame oil in my pan. Once that was hot, I added in two to three teaspoons of minced garlic and my steak that I had cut into small bite-sized pieces. I cooked this over medium-high heat until the meat was cooked through and any liquid that had cooked out of the meat had mostly evaporated. Next, I added in the sauce that I made earlier. If my broccoli needed to be cooked, I would add it now and let it cook in that sauce. I brought the sauce to a boil and then reduced the heat to low and just let it simmer while I cooked my ramen noodles. For the ramen, I boiled three packs of noodles, throw away the seasoning packet, we don't need that. I cooked them for about a minute. The package says two or three, but I cook them just until they start to soften. They will continue to cook in the sauce and we don't want them overdone. While the noodles were cooking, I added my broccoli to the meat and the sauce, and then I drained my ramen and stirred that in too. And here is the finished product. I like mine with some extra sriracha on top. We all love this so much better than the ground beef and it's a great way to use up some packets of ramen. It is Wednesday and tonight for dinner I am winging it, kind of trying something new. I've got a pack of chicken thighs. These are boneless skinless chicken thighs. I trimmed them up a little bit, got some excess fat off of them. I'm going to season them with salt and pepper, some onion powder, some garlic powder, and some paprika. And I'm going to brown those up on either side in this pan. I've got a little bit of olive oil heating up. I'm just gonna brown them. I'm not gonna worry about getting them completely cooked through. 
And once they're browned on each side, I'm gonna remove them from the pan and get my dirty rice started. This is from Aldi, and I'm just gonna add this with some um, two and a half cups of water and bring it to a boil. And then once it's boiling, I'm gonna add my chicken back in on top of the rice mixture, cover it and simmer it for, what does it say, 25 minutes. So I've made like recipes that were one pot chicken and rice dishes like this, but I've never done it with like a box rice mix. So I'm got my fingers crossed, hoping this turns out good. Okay, to go with our chicken and rice, I made a can of corn and have already tasted this and it tastes amazing. It turned out just how I pictured it in my mind. I went ahead and shredded up the chicken for the kids and it shredded so easily. So those are theirs and then here is mine. And that is going to be dinner for Wednesday. For Thursday night, I made Chipotle style steak burrito bowls. I made the steak, I made cilantro lime rice. We had some pico and some sour cream and lettuce and some black beans. And I made this before and I shared it. I think it was like my birthday video. So I will leave that linked down below for you guys. This is what our bowls looked like. Mine had some of everything and the kids were just simple with meat, rice, beans, and cheese. And that is going to be it for this week's What's for Dinner. Let me know in the comments down below if you plan on trying any of these recipes this week. As always, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye!